I'm Eric Gattenholm, co-founder and CEO of Cellink. Uh, Cellink is the first bioing company in the world, uh, developing uh, bioprinting technology so that scientists and researchers um, can print human tissue that can be used for, for um, uh, research and development of cosmetic and pharmaceutical products. So I, uh, I studied innovation and industrial management. I did my master's here in, in, in Sweden. So I think it was, it was mainly important to me to, um, to try to get into more, you know, how do you develop uh, products or markets or even industries? And, and what are the important aspects behind, you know, the commercialization of especially biotechnology firms and biotechnology products? Um, Maureen McKelvey, my, my advisor and, and my, one of the professors at the program, she was, she was excellent. And, and I think it's, she, she's one of the main reasons why I chose this program. Uh, she has the background in biotechnology, she has a background in, in commercialization, and, and, and it's been a great source of inspiration as well as, as knowledge. So starting a company or, or, or running a business essentially comes down to, to a few very important aspects, and, and one of them is, is the vision. You know, the founder and, and, and the entrepreneurs buying a company, they need to have a very clear vision of where they're going, why they're, why they're doing it, and, and, and how they're supposed to do it. Um, for, for both myself and Hector, the other founder, our vision has been that we will change and we want to change the way that we do medical research in the future. So, so that's a big aspect behind the entire company and, and everything that we do all the way down to everyday operations. You know, keeping that vision alive and keeping that vision uh, essentially echoing in our heads that you know, we will change the way that medicine works in the future is essential. So younger students, I, I advise them to, to think about, and actually I challenge them to think about innovative ways to commercialize products or, or think outside the box and, and try, to, try to remember that you know, it's, life is essentially what you do, right? It's, it's the things that you do and the things that you, you can do with the resources that you have. Starting a business, you're never gonna have the perfect conditions or, or optimal resources and, and everything in hand. You need to start from scratch, you need to start from nothing. And, but the important part and what sets you aside from, from other people is that you, you're constantly doing.